is uh, the schedule flow. So once you um, look at our tour book, you can go to the table of contents on page number four. And then when you, you look down to uh, 26, it will say tour itinerary. So that's the main thing. And this is um, a few things that change in the itinerary. The biggest uh, thing that's changed in the itinerary is Cape Town. Instead of staying at the Marriott, uh, we're staying at uh, Double Tree Hilton. And uh, instead of us going out on uh, January 1st on a tour schedule, uh, that day is a free day now. And then on January 2nd, we, uh, we do our, our, our second uh, day of Cape Town schedule. So those are roughly the only thing that has really changed. Anything else that has changed is this uh, adjusting the flow to make everything looks good. All right, so a tour book schedule. Uh, everything is um, as big and bold as we can make it. Also have a digital copy for everyone. All right, so day one, that was uh, yesterday, uh, we all got to Atlanta Airport, and then um, now uh, day two, Monday, December 25th, we're all here in uh, Johannesburg. So once again, family, uh, welcome to Johannesburg, and we're on our way to a new hotel, and uh, that hotel has been changed uh, once or twice uh, before in the past, but it's the same hotel I've stayed at uh, for the four times I've been here in uh, Johannesburg. And I knew it's a, it's a high-rise hotel, so, one of the days when we are free, uh, we can have a nice little party social life up there. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, now, uh, what we're going to do is just uh, check in. And then once you check in, or once I get to the hotel, I want to give everybody their tour bags. The tour bags has the tour t-shirts on them. The tour t-shirts has another pen and also uh, it has a... It has a few, uh, you know, a few things in there, postcards and things like that uh, uh, with our program. So that is our Africa for the Africans uh, tour package um, that uh, we give to everyone, which is a tour book, uh, t-shirt, uh, pens, uh, business cards. Now, as far as uh, continuing on today, uh, the main thing that we have is uh, dinner. That's all we have. So what I want to do is uh, once I arrange the ride uh, for us to go to Rosebank Mall to have dinner, uh, I just have to calculate uh, everything based on the time now, but uh, the time I have in the book is 7 o'clock. Uh, so I just want everyone to just be ready in the lobby at 7 o'clock and then I'll have the ride arranged. Uh, any change in schedule or anything change, my best thing I could do is to uh, just send a message on WhatsApp. Uh, so. Uh, once you get to the hotel, just uh, connect to WhatsApp, so any messages and things you, you may have to send, uh, we can just uh, send on the WhatsApp network. Alright, so once we are finished our uh, dinner, just, uh, we'll head back to the hotel and then everybody just get them a nice rest. And then we're going to set off the first tour day, which is uh, day 3, Tuesday, December 26th. Alright, so this is, uh, we're going to go to Lesedi Cultural Village and also Constitutional Hill. So once we finish the Cultural Village, which is... Uh, our main program, enjoy that program, have lunch, and then we're gonna head to Constitutional Hill, which is right by the hotel. And then uh, we'll have some options for dinner at uh, seven o'clock, uh, if we're gonna go out, or if some people wanna eat uh, the hotel, we can uh, work those things out. So those will be the updates that we'll be talking about uh, as far as dinner options. I uh, don't want to uh, limit anyone. All right, uh, day, uh, day four is when we're gonna be going to uh, Soweto. It's a full day tour of Soweto. Uh, currently, they are saying that the Apartheid Museum is closed, so everything that's in the Apartheid Museum will uh, we'll show it to you uh, in Soweto. And so on that day, uh, we have the Africa for Africans t-shirt, so uh, it's a day of red, black, and green, so you can find something to match with the red, black, and green t-shirt that we have. The t-shirt is uh, black uh, with a green logo and uh, red writing. And uh, that is our uh, Wednesday, December 26th, uh, 27th, uh, full day tour of Soweto. And also for those who have school supplies, um, uh, bring your school supplies on uh, day four uh, to Soweto. And we're gonna, our tour guide is gonna be meeting us uh, tomorrow. And when she meets us, she's gonna be telling us about the things that she has for us in Soweto. Uh, that's her neighborhood. Uh, so she has a nice school for us to go to. So anyone have school supplies, donations, and things like that, you can uh, share those uh, things with the, uh, you know, with the community in Soweto. Uh, they would be more than appreciative uh, for anything that you can contribute. All right, and for um, for the, the, the next uh, for these uh, few days in the nighttime, once we finish uh, dinner, for those who want to socialize and go somewhere for social nightlife, uh, we can work that out. Other than that, 
just recommend everybody get some rest and enjoy. I'm gonna skip through the uh, schedule a little faster. Uh, day five, Thursday, uh, December 28th. So that's Pilanisburg. Now Pilanisburg is the only time that uh, we need to be ready by uh, 6.30. The other days, uh, if you could be ready by 8.30, uh, you know, that would be perfect. And then uh, we just make sure everything is in order. And then once everything is ordered, we leave. So that is the biggest uh, change in, uh, in getting up. And the reason for that is uh, Pilanisburg is two hours away from us. Uh, so, you know, we're looking at getting there by 8.30 and then we can uh, do the 9, nine o'clock uh, tour. So that's uh, what we worked out uh, the last time. And then once we finish the uh, tour, uh, we'll work it out to where uh, we'd have already ordered our uh, lunch. And then when we come back, we get our lunch. And then from lunch, we head back to Johannesburg. Right? And then from that day, uh, the next day is a free day. That's day six, Friday, December 29th. So there's nothing to do on the schedule. Uh, the only thing that we have arranged is dinner. So. Um, we'll either go out to dinner or we'll have dinner at the uh, hotel or we can do a combination of both. So that's the uh, same options all the days. And that will conclude our time in uh, Johannesburg. The next day is Saturday, December 30th. And uh, we're going to be heading on our South African Airways flight. So that's the ticket that I sent to everyone. So with that ticket, um, just make sure you have it print out or you have a digital copy. And then, um, and this day is also our early uh, day where we're checking out uh, 6.30. So the flight leave at 9.15, and then we get to Cape Town at 11.25, and it'll be the same setup as what we have in Johannesburg when we get picked up. Uh, so uh, this bus or another bus will be there to, uh, uh, to get us uh, with the same uh, luggage cart. So once we uh, get to um, Cape Town, uh, we'll just get you checked in the hotel and chill, relax, and then uh, enjoy the day. And then uh, dinner at seven uh, at the hotel or out at the uh, waterfront. All right, uh, the uh, first tour day we have is Sunday, December 31st. That's Robin Island and the District 6 Museum and uh, the Township Tour. So just like we do a Township Tour in Soweto, uh, we're doing a Township Tour here in uh, Cape Town. The only difference is the one in uh, Soweto is more just it's more organized to where it's more impactful because of Nelson Mandela, Hector Peterson, and then just the history of uh, Soweto. Um, but uh, similar st uh, struggles happen here in uh, Cape Town. So just want to show both sides of it as you know, that's part of our, all the programs that I've done. Uh, something dealing with African Holocaust, African struggles, uh, things of that nature uh, to balance out the itinerary. Uh, so. Um, the next day is uh, January 1st, so New Year's, uh, there's no schedule for New Year's. Uh, what I would say that we can do is uh, we can make our way down to the waterfront for dinner and then uh, enjoy um, a New Year's day at the waterfront. And then uh, beyond that, uh, early in the daytime, you can kind of relax and then just enjoy the area. It's a nice area to walk around and move around in. Right, then uh, the last tour day is day 10, Tuesday, January 2nd, and that is uh, Table Mountain and uh, the Castle of uh, Good Hope. So we more than likely will do, we do the Table Mountain in the afternoon because uh, it's going to be cold up there in the daytime, in the morning time. So we can just do it uh, in the afternoon and do the other part of the tour in the uh, morning time and then break uh, in between for uh, lunch. And uh, same thing, uh, dinner at the hotel or out at the waterfront. And, uh, and then from there on, we're closing out uh, December 11th, uh, day 11th, um, day 11th, Wednesday, January 3rd. So that's when uh, we're gonna be checking out the hotel and uh, the flight from Cape Town uh, leaves later, which is, a, which is a perfect setup because it has to fly to Johannesburg first and from Johannesburg it has to fly to Cape Town. So we won't be in any rush to uh, get to the airport and then we don't have to get back on a flight and go back to Johannesburg, uh, which is what we had to do the last time. Uh, but thank uh, for our wonderful Delta Airlines for making the schedule more appropriate to what people want to do, fly into Johannesburg and leave out of Cape Town. So that was uh, perfect. And then uh, everyone just uh, get themselves, uh, once we get you to the uh, airport, we just enjoy that uh, nice long flight again and then um, we all just uh, get our bags in Atlanta and then we proceed to connection flights that we have and then beyond that, just enjoy the journey of a lifetime. So that's a quick overview of the schedule and just uh, do your best to stick with the flow of it. Uh, you see the times in the morning, uh, it's basically saying that I uh, just want everyone to be up by uh, 
everybody to be ready by 8.30 and then let's give us a chance to get other things together and then we go. So if we even leave out 15 minutes after that, it's no big deal or whatever time after that. But uh, the main thing is just I want our members to be ready and then whatever after doing work with the driver, we'll get that done. So that is our schedule for this um, you know, nine nights in uh, in South Africa. So I want to know if anyone have any questions or if anybody want to talk about anything or if there's something that uh, anyone may not be clear on. All right, so everybody seems to be clear. I know we've gone over the schedule, but uh, that's, uh, that's it. That's the nature of going over it is to make sure everybody's clear so we can keep a good flow. So if you need any reference to anything that's going on on the tour, the schedule is there, our tour guide's information is there. And uh, beyond that, it's just um, all of the sites that we'll go to and an overview of all of the sites. So that is the uh, Journey of a Lifetime tour book uh, family. And what you see on here is our last group, November 2019. But mind you, remember this group right here? Do you see yourself in there? All right, so that is, uh, that's my mother right there in the middle, and that's my mother right here. So, the, and then Bomani the Carrier is right, right in front, I'm looking smaller. And this is my uh, father, uh, Charlie Brown. Uh, he's joining me with this journey. Uh, so this is uh, his second time traveling with me to Africa. He was there in Ghana with us uh, in, uh, in, uh, in May. That's my father, Charlie Brown. Uh, he lives in New York City. Um, all, everyone lived in New York City except oh. for myself. That's my, my family still live, live in New York City. I'm the only one that decided I to move. I thought you were joking. No, that's I'm not joking. I'm that's just, but that's uh, my mother right there oh. in, the, in, in, in the red. And okay. right there also. And then you'll see her in other pages. Uh, but that was a uh, South Africa journey, which was uh, amazing. Uh, it was one day less. Uh, so now I end up adjusting it to where we added one more day to uh, Cape Town to make it nice. And the last time we left from Cape Town, we had to leave a little... Uh, earlier because uh, we have to get back to uh, Johannesburg on a flight uh, but uh, the schedule work out to where you have a whole lot more time and uh, and it uh, flows real good so any question anybody want to dialogue about anything and I'm hoping that everyone is loving the beautiful energy of, uh, uh, of uh, Johannesburg as you can see it look in you know, a nice neighborhoods and that's one thing you're gonna see in Johannesburg you're gonna see some impressive neighborhoods uh, impressive neighborhoods and when you look at it it's not it's not a bunch of white people living there it's, it's black people living there these are black these are neighborhoods of predominantly black people um, some more successful than others but this is a beautiful country very um, you know, despite all of the, the the mess that goes on in South Africa here and there it's a beautiful country uh, um, enjoyed and I loved it when I first came here in 2005 the only difference is Ghana beat it out for the schedule for us to start off what will be like a nice introduction into Africa but as you, you know, make your way around the, c the different uh, countries, uh, it's, you know, it's exciting. Uh, from Southern Africa, North Africa, and Egypt, East Africa, and we're just in uh, uh, East Africa, Tanzania, and then we're in West Africa a few months back. Uh, so it's uh, one of the true ways to get a, a feeling of the continent. But nevertheless, our uh, family, uh, welcome to uh, South Africa, welcome to Johannesburg, and uh, we'll be at the hotel shortly. And uh, if anybody just have anything that you want to talk to me, you can always even pull me to the side or just uh, bring certain things up and we talk about it. Uh, just the main thing I want to make sure everyone is good on is just want to make sure we accommodate everyone to the highest level. Anyone have any troubles, any issues? Everyone, anyone have any troubles with the people that we deal with, whether it's the hotel uh, or just any of the any of the sequence that we have on the uh, the tour schedule. Uh, let me know and we'll you know we'll represent you and I'll work things out uh, for you. Uh, we want you just to enjoy yourself, have a good time, and don't stress about much of anything. Uh, and just enjoy your investment and, uh, you know, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right, so family, the journey uh, continues. Thank you.